Today, we're going to learn how to use a place value chart to compare different numbers. For example, we're going to explore how a number like 40 compares to 400, or how a number like 9000 compares with 900. To begin with, we're going to start by just counting up some blocks, like this one on the screen. How many blocks are on the screen? Yeah, there's one block, and we will show this by putting one small circle in our place value chart and drawing the number 1 below the column. Now let's add more blocks and keep counting. Whisper in your head the number of blocks that you see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great, let's stop there. Now we have 10 blocks. But I can show 10 blocks in a different way on the place value chart. Instead of showing 10 circles in the ones place, what else could I show? I could bundle all of these ones together and I could turn them into 110. Now notice how I drew the 10 to look like the tower of blocks that we counted on the screen. Whenever we show 10s, we can show them this way. Now we know 110 is equal to how many ones? How many ones fit into the tower? Exactly, 110 is equal to 10 ones. We can see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks that make up the tower. So 110 is equal to 10 ones. Now I want to ask, 110 is how many times bigger than 1, 1? Well, 110 is 10 times bigger, or it's worth 10 times as much as 1, 1. Now we're going to keep counting. This time, we're going to count up by 10 blocks at a time. Whisper count with me as you see the blocks. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I have 100 blocks. How many towers of 10 did it take to make 100 blocks? Yeah, you could either count them up or look on the place value chart and see that it took 10 10s to make 100 blocks. Now, what is another way I could show 100 blocks on the place value chart? Well, sure, I could take all 10 of these 10s and turn them into 100. Notice here I drew my 100 as a square just like the square of 100 blocks that we just counted. I can always draw hundreds like this. Now, 100 is equal to how many tens? How many tens turned into 100? Yeah, 100 is equal to 10 tens because it took 10 towers of blocks to make all 100 blocks. I bundled 10 tens together to make 100. This means I can say 100 is worth how many times as much as 110? 100 is worth 10 times as much as 110 because 10 tens fit inside of 100. Let's keep this pattern going. Now I'm going to add 100 blocks at a time. Whisper count with me. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. How many hundreds did I just make? Yeah, I have 10 hundreds, but how else could I show 10 hundreds on the place value chart? Well, exactly. Just like before, I could bundle all 10 of my hundreds and turn them into 1,000. Here I'm using a star just because it's easier to draw than the other shapes. I could show thousands as stars. Now I can say 1,000 is equal to how many hundreds? Well, 1,000 was equal to 10 hundreds. I turned 10 hundreds into 1,000. This also means 1,000 is worth how many times as much as 100? 
1,000 is worth 10 times as much as 100. It is 10 times bigger than 100. Now let's stop and review what we've done so far. We've looked at our place values and been able to compare tens with ones. How many times bigger is 110 compared with 11? Yeah, a 10 is worth 10 times more than a 1. How does 100 compare with 110? 100 is worth 10 times more than 110. How does 1,000 compare with 100? Well, 1,000 is also worth 10 times more than 100. Now take a minute and type one to two sentences that describes a pattern you've noticed on the place value chart. Well, I don't know exactly what you typed, but I, it was probably something similar to this. Each place value is worth 10 times more than the place value to its right. And now with this understanding, we can start building into bigger numbers. Imagine if instead of one block, I started with two blocks, and I want to make 10 groups of two blocks. Well, I could start by putting my two dots on the place value chart. Now we can count. I have one group of two, two groups of two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two, eight groups of two, nine groups of two, and ten groups of two. Count up the place value disks or the blocks and tell me, ten groups of two is equal to how many ones? Yeah, you can count it up and see ten groups of two ones is equal to twenty ones. But now twenty ones is the same as how many tens? Twenty ones is the same as two tens. Because what I can do is circle these first 10 and these second 10 ones. Now 10 ones, the first will turn into one 10, and the next group of 10 ones will turn into another 10. So 20 ones is the same as two 10s. We can keep this pattern going. Let's say I want to count groups of three 10s. If I want to make 10 groups of three tens, well, let's count. There's one group of three tens, two groups of three tens, three groups of three tens, four groups of three tens, five groups of three tens, six groups of three tens, seven groups of three tens, eight groups of three tens, nine groups of three tens, ten groups of three tens. And so 10 groups of three tens is equal to how many tens total? You can count them up and see 10 groups of three tens is equal to 30 tens. But now 10, 20, 30. But 30 tens can be shown a different way. 30 tens is the same as what? Well, what I can do is say the first 10 tens can turn into 100. The next 10 tens make another 100, and the last 10 tens make another 100. 30 tens is the same as how many hundreds? It's the same as three hundreds. So what we can see is any time you're comparing place values, the place value is always worth 10 times more than the place value to its right. This can help us understand that three hundreds is ten times more than three tens, or that two tens is ten times more than two ones. Understanding this relationship will help us solve a lot of math problems. That's all for today. Stay tuned for next time.